Hey, what's up fellas? What we're looking at right here is a thermal cracker pulse jet engine. And the reason why we are thermally cracking the propane is because methane and ethylene is a superior fuel for these types of combustion systems. So is hydrogen, which can also be created in a thermal cracking process, especially if you start to thermally crack the methane. Unfortunately guys, I did run out of propane way before the test got underway, but we're going to take a look nonetheless. We got this thing to run for a couple minutes before the bottle died on me. We used this bottle up yesterday for the most part, and I just wanted to see what we could do with the coil on there. this this is without the thermal cracker and we had more bottle pressure that time so this is the next day listen to that tone look at that heat look at that heat look at that we're doing something here well I can't say that I'm shocked but I'm damn sure impressed now the reason why I ventured into this process is when I realized that the combustion ratios available with propane are only 2.5 to 9.6 percent whereas with these other gases you can burn a lot more. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about and why I did this and wow is this the coolest thing I've ever built. Unbelievable. What we're looking at here is a quick little feasibility test that I did to determine whether or not further testing in the project was warranted. And I was quite pleased with what I saw. It almost looks like we're creating acetylene gas based on the amount of soot formation that we get. The soot formation becomes quite prominent here in a second. It really picks up and um, this tells me all I needed to know. So that's, that's what sold me on this and um, we're going to see more of it coming up in the near future here. Just a quick little recap of what we have going on here. When you thermally crack propane at 1650 degrees Fahrenheit, you have two different reaction routes that are possible at this temperature. And some of the elements that are created or some of the compounds that are created are methane and ethylene. Why am I interested in these gases? Well, first of all, if you see here, the lower and upper combustion limit of propane is only 9.6%, and they say that 4% is optimal. So, if you look at methane, we can get as high as 17% of fuel in that combustion charge and still burn. So it's a higher power burn. Ethylene is even more ferocious. It's a very ferocious gas. Look up ethylene combustion on YouTube. You'll see what I'm talking about. That's 28% that it can do. Hydrogen is even crazier. And again, look at the combustion velocities of these fuels. Propane and methane are about the same, but when you start producing ethylene, you're up to 0.66 meters a second. We all know what hydrogen does. It's pretty much damn near explosive. So that is the reason why I decided to hook this thermal cracker up to this thing. Someone else also said propylene is created in this reaction. And um, that is what got me interested in this. And if we go even higher temperatures and we thermally crack the methane, we start to produce hydrogen gas. And hydrogen gas is just, it would probably melt the burner and it would definitely be 10 times more explosive. 